Billy here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, I just want to talk a little bit today about um, dry camping or boondocking and basically the four essential things that you need to make that a successful weekend or week um, while you're out camping. Um, those would be having the correct batteries, having the uh, ample amount of inverter capacity, uh, solar, and uh, possibly a generator. Um, we'll start with the batteries. Uh, we've learned a lot with the batteries. AGM batteries are by far the best, short of going to lithium, which also has their cons uh, in cold weather. But um, the AGM are basically gel maintenance free batteries. Um, some of the motorhomes, it doesn't make it easy to have access to how do you maintain those liquid acid batteries and keep the water in it. I know with the Class A we had, um, it was almost impossible to get into the stairs and get in there and to, as they say, monthly check the water. It was a huge benefit to upgrade to AGM gel and they last uh, a lot longer um, and they um, charge up a lot quicker. So AGM is definitely the way to go. You would not be um, regret that at all and we went with 6 volt times four. Uh, that's a whole other topic is versus the two 12 volts, but it's a better way to go if you do six volts uh, times four and then they hook them up together. Um, then you would have your inverter. You definitely want um, thousand watt is usually what they start with in a lot of these motorhomes, but 2000 is really what you need. Some of the newer 2020s are now coming out with 2000 watt inverter because of the demand. And again, the inverter is when you have um, the battery being converted to electrical power inside your uh, motorhome where you can use the plugs, um, use the TV, use the blow dryer, use whatever you want to use that is hooked up and going through the inverter to convert that power. Um, 2000 watt, look for 2000 watt. You can definitely upgrade your current RV or a new RV if they don't have 2000 watt. It will cost you somewhere between a thousand and two thousand dollars depending on where and what product that you pick. We like Go Power, they make specifically for RVs and boats and are very familiar with the setup. So uh, that brand has turned out to work really well for us. Um, generator, uh, if you have the generator, um, definitely is a plus to have. Uh, it's a backup for definitely power when you need it, but it also runs and makes noise and is limited when you can use it in RV parks, usually not before 7 in the morning or 10 after 10 at night. So we use it to top off our batteries in the morning and at night um, just for about half hour, 45 minutes. Um, and during the day, we have solar. So solar really keeps our batteries charged and throughout the entire day and sometimes at night we don't even have to do anything with the generator but we usually will just even if it doesn't show that it needs it we'll run it for you know 15 or 20 minutes just to make sure we've maximized our battery capacity for the night um, so you've got your inverter your generator your solar and your AGM batteries those are the four key things that you need for boondocking and dry camping um, and just depending on how much you're going to run inside your uh, motorhome is to the capacity of each of those that you would need. Uh, hope you hope you learned something from here or I helped you out in any way. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and the notification. I will be posting the first week in November the Go Power Extreme Solar Kit and Inverter. The solar is 570 uh, kilowatts. The inverter is 3,000 watts. And we're going to be upgrading the Integra Quest 24L uh, the first week of November. So stay tuned. Thank you.